Whew, I could uh, yeah. do without that uh, ever again. Yeah. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another Pours Unknown, which is a series of videos we do over here every Monday where we draw a sample at random from our Pours Unknown sample pool, full of a bunch of bourbons and ryes, most of which we've never tasted before. So there's no familiarity with the product, except for a few curveballs in there to keep us on our toes. Mm. It could be almost anything. All right. We are going to smell it, taste it, give it a rating. Then we're going to find out the price, weigh that against our rating, see if it changes our rating based on what we taste in the glass. Yep. Then we will find out what we're drinking. We think this gives you the most honest reviews possible, which is important for us. Check out the video description. While she's smelling that, you check out the video description below for our Patreon community. It's a great place over there. We do our barrel pick releases over there. You can get plugged into our Discord, which is a fantastic online community where we help each other find things share samples, all kinds of good stuff. We also have bonus content and monthly virtual tastings over there. You're making all kinds of noises okay. over here. Oh, you're also wearing our merch. Oh yeah, yeah. You got a shirt on. You can kind of see it. There's a logo here and then on the back it says Fight the FOMO. So yeah. this is our Fight the FOMO long sleeve logo. Yeah, it's long sleeve season. You can get that down there yeah. in the video description below as well at stuffandwhiskey.com. Yes. How's the nose? You're making faces. Okay, so I initially smelled it. It's a rye. I, I, I smelled it kind of from far away. I don't know if you saw. And I kind of went like this. And in my mind, I'm in a movie theater getting buttered popcorn. Far away. Go like this. Buttered popcorn. Movie theater. No, farther. Farther. <laughs> I can't smell any further. You have the biggest nose. How can you not smell? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It just doesn't work very good. It's all show, like, no go. Like this. No. Nah. It, okay. it smells like a rye to me. It okay. smells like a buttery rye, but a rye. I'm getting movie theater, butter popcorn, and then then there is like a, a hesitate, hesitate to say this because I said this like two or three weeks ago. There's a crafty note on the nose that makes me feel like it's maybe not from a legacy distillery. Mint. I could be wrong. Lots of bright minty type notes up front, like that brightness that you get if mint is in a drink, like a mojito or something. Like I can see that, yeah. Bright, bright, bright mint. And then, I mean, that's the first thing. So basically you. you're out on this already. No, not necessarily because there is some depth under that. There's a lot of barrel influence. It feels like mm -hmm. on the nose. Um, so that it's bringing some depth and some richness from that. It has a kind of like this umami thing going on. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's not sweet, but it's also not earthy necessarily. It's got like this, I don't, it's hard to describe. Shall it's just like a lot of mint and a lot of this other thing. Shall we taste it? Yeah, let's get into it. So I just got like an international, like a Irish vibe. What the heck is this thing doing in my mouth? Wow, that is crazy this weird. Really good. I like it. It reminds me of like an Irish whiskey. It almost remind. It's like smoky. It's almost bordering on like it. It's kind of reminded me of like a peated scotch in yeah. some way. There's some sort of international something like Irish or a scotch. I'm going Irish because I'm not getting a Band-Aid vibe like I get from Scotch, which I kind of like. I'm not getting far off from that, to be honest with you. I want another sip, though. Okay, I like this. hang on. I, we Yeah, we need another sip. When you're tasting things totally double blind and you don't know what you're walking into, mm -hmm. sometimes you walk into something that is, this is outside the of the realm of expectations. Acclamation sip is the yeah. first sip. Let's throw that one away. The second sip is where we actually can taste things. Let's get another one. Okay. Yeah, so what I think I smelled as a crafty note is kind of is smoky smokiness is real smoky i like this a lot <laughs> i like peated scotch and i do not like this a lot i do not like this i would not like this in a car i would not like this in a bar all right i would not like this on a house i would not like this with the mouse i do not like this sam i am <laughs> you do not like this whiskey jam no i do not okay yeah this is weird it's very smoky. I'm assuming barrel char. It's a rye for sure. It's, it's a rye. It do, it's not smoky in the fact that it's been smoked. I don't feel like. I don't know. It doesn't come across that way to me. I, I, I we have so much stuff in our pool. There's no telling what this could be. Uh, we long since forget. We got so many things are always rotating. It's hard to keep up with things. We don't try to keep up. We try to forget. I think this is like finished in something weird. International and or some sort of single malt product. Man, it 
I'm going to take another sip and I get a get a rating. And I I'm got, also oh, I got one. I'm going to get some notes too. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a rating. All right. Go ahead. So I'm giving a thumbs up. This is not everyone's cup. Wood. This is not everyone's cup of tea, obviously. And that's fine. This is my rating. Yeah. Aaron's rating. Aaron likes this. Aaron's mm -hmm. giving it a thumbs up. Aaron would like to own a bottle of this. It was not too expensive. Yeah, this is heavy malted barley and smoke and not in a good way. Like if I want this to flavor you. In, to me, if I want this flavor profile, I'm just going to go for a peated single malt scotch. I don't want this. But maybe this is something similar to that. We don't know what this is. Right. But I'm telling you, this is similar to that, but it's not good for me. Fair. This okay. is bad for me. Fair. Yeah. Fair. This is like... I feel like Rihanna writes songs about relationships that are like this toxic, this level of toxicity oh for her. But that's this whiskey for me. Lower the drama level. Okay? I don't, I don't know. On. I don't know much about Rihanna. Don't but be I so just, dramatic. I feel like she's kind of on that wavelength. That could be a complete miscategorization. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Price. We're going to find out. I'm thumbs down, by the way. I don't want anything to do with this ever again if I could help it. You can have the rest of this after this is over. Thumbs down. Oh my gosh. There's no price. I, this could be $20. Oh I wouldn't be, gosh. I would not be happy with it. Okay. Number 61 in our pool. This is $70. And your thumbs up on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay thumbs down. All right. I, I think I made that real clear that it's, this is not for me. If you like, here, here's the thing. If you like peated single malt scotch, you like the malty, the malted barley flavor, smoky flavors, this could be something that you would like because but, Aaron does like that stuff. And, and I like that stuff. you like that stuff too. And you don't like this. It does. It's missing something for me. Okay. Like it's, there's something that is in the single malt scotch, pita single malt scotch profile. Okay. And, and to be clear, I don't like all single malt pita scotch. Yeah. I like very specific barbecue-y, barbecued fruit, campfire single malt scotch. This to me is leaning more towards the band aid side for me. Personally. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. All right. So you're, are you staying thumbs up mm -hmm. at 70? Yeah. Okay. If you like that profile, I don't think it's a bad price. Yeah. All right. What are we drinking? We are drinking dad's hat bottled and bond rye. Whoa. This is thanks to Vin at bourbon spirits. So what's, <sighs> I don't know. I'm not familiar with dad's that is hat. not a lot of malted barley and it is not smoked at all. It's just a Pennsylvania style rye. It is I like it. weird and wild. Give me the Pennsylvania style rice. Actually, I think Chris Norris actually sent a sample of this as well. So we got to thank him too. Okay. But but you were yeah. right. This is a rye. I'm shocked yeah. because for not being oh. single malt, like not being having having any international influences or having or having, it gave off that vibe, and I was there for it. I, I pulled up my seat to the table. I was ready to dig in. I'm ready to dig out. Dig me out of this hole that I've put myself in I mean, by doing this channel I'll with just, this pour. You can have it. Take it. I mean, for, so for someone who didn't like this, there wasn't much left. Well, I was trying to figure it out mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. So anyways, a house divided on this one. If you're divided on whether you should subscribe to the channel or not, just go ahead and do it. You know you want to. Come on. You okay. like whiskey. You like blind tastings. That's why you're here. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. That's what you're here for. Also, hit that bell down there. We go live once a month. Join us on a live stream. Have a pour with us. The bell will help you know when we're going live. Like the video if you like it. All that good stuff. Yeah. That's it. Do the things. Thanks yeah. for watching. Be good to each other. And until next time. Cheers. cheers.